Okay, here we are. This is Juice Fast July 2020 10 day juice fast wrap up. This is the day after weighed in at a 126.8. I measured myself and I actually, you know, I lost a little bit. Shrinking tighter. That's good. And I actually can feel like my real body. <laughs> I can sort of have a, I'm not that far away, you know, so that I can sort of envision the true nature of my, let's call it ideal form or natural form and where I went off and why I went off track, you know, at about the age of 12. And it was because I was so thin and so tall. I was five foot eight when I was 12, 11. That's really tall when you're that young. And I was also extremely thin and I'm extremely flat chested to this day. It doesn't matter. I could be 400 pounds and I, it's the last place my body wants to, to uh, add mass. So my natural body type was just unacceptable, not really to me, but as I fit into the larger society and I gained weight to have a little bulk and it, I only got heavy thighs. That's, that's all I got and then a big ass and then, you know, hmm. never was helpful, but I know why I did it. And um, now I just want to get back there again. That's my goal. It, it's a worthy goal. It's, and it's difficult. It's difficult. Perseverance. The, the last, um, last, this July, uh, Juice Fast, maybe it's because I've been doing so many this year. Um, and, and I had to work like at the last three, four days of it, deadline stuff that I didn't anticipate or wouldn't have planned uh, it, but best I could do it. Um, you know, I ended up kind of really just limping into Harbor, like a ship just limping into port. And this morning when I had my omelet to break my fast, it wasn't a big whoop de doo because I had been eating candies last night, little, you know, hard candies and pickles and yeah, which doesn't make you feel good. So it was like, here's what it was. But it was necessary, in my opinion. But now I see that the real growth for me will be how I can adjust and moderate my eating and my exercise in the next 20 days. Or it's probably going to be a little more than that before I go back on another one. And uh, so I'm seeing, you know, it's a seesaw, but I want to focus on the other part of the equation. And I probably will be checking in every couple of days to report on my eating for myself, to keep myself accountable. When I speak it out, it becomes real. And um, if I'm failing, I'm aware of it. If I'm doing going in a direction that's not in my best interest or my desire, then I can um, adjust or just at least that little extra awareness and a feedback loop. So anyway, that's it. I have on the stove right now. I'm so happy to report. I made some nice rice in my basmati rice in my rice maker. It's waiting and I have uh, lentils, curried lentils that are cooking now. They're almost done. I'm going to make some peas, some sweet peas to go in that. Oh, it's going to be so good. <laughs> yeah. And, um, and also I had a lot of fruit juice left over and I froze them. I bought some at the Dollar Tree. I bought some little plastic containers. I just took the fruit and I put in these little containers so that somebody had mentioned something about ice, you know, like frozen fruit uh, ice treats. So we'll see how that goes. It, it, I don't have any popsicle sticks in there, so it's going to be a little funny. But, you know, if you little, you soften them up a little bit, take them out of the freezer, you should be able to make it like a nice slush like fruit slush. That'd be good. You know, it's better than just throwing it out. So uh, I'll freeze it and throw it out later, probably. <laughs> anyway, so that's where I'm at. And um, beautiful day. The weather is gorgeous here today. It's not too hot, not too cold, just right. And, um, you know, I'm hoping to exercise. In fact, I should be exercising soon. Coming up in the schedule. And really work out. 
like so you know just really get those engines revving and uh so that's all for today